Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down. If you're not new, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial, makeup look on this look right here. It's very simple. This is my more everyday to go glam look. So I wanted to create this look for you guys. A lot of you guys are requesting a lot more makeup videos. So I thought I'd bring this for you guys. It's been a really long time since I've uploaded on YouTube. But I promise I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm going to be uploading for you guys a little bit more. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. All my social media will be linked down below as well as most of the products that I'm using. If you guys have any requests, anything to tell me please let me know and I'll see you guys in the next few clips showing you guys how to achieve this look so yeah without further ado let's get started okay so I already have my eyebrows done I went ahead and did them off camera because they take quite a while but if you guys want an eyebrow routine let me know down below and I will go ahead and film that so I already have my eyebrows done but I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my face I use a few several different face products the first one I use is a Too Faced Hangover Good To Go Moisturizer with SPF right now it's currently very sunny and even when it's not sunny you're supposed to wear sunscreen um to protect your skin so i go ahead and wear this i feel like i'm a beauty guru like through my hands behind it so i use this and then for primer i use quite a bit of primers the first one i use is a Too faced hangover rx nourishing face primer this is like a really good primer for all over the face i have really really dry skin and it's really good to just hydrate my skin then i go in with my tatcha silk canvas primer um this is a really good primer for the pores especially it blurs the face up and it's a really good primer i really like this i'm running out of this so i have to go purchase one um when sephora opens but i really really like this primer this is the one i'm using you guys will see how I do my makeup in a second, but I like to use those. And for foundation, I go ahead and use a Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation in the shade 260. This is my favorite foundation. Ever since I started using this, I cannot wear a different foundation. It lasts lasts forever and it just makes my skin look so flawless so natural and it's just really good so I really recommend this foundation but I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup you guys will see um I just want to tell you guys the products before I did it so that you guys knew what I was using okay so I have my maze my mace. I have my mirror right here so that I can see um sorry if the lighting is kind of off I have all my windows open and I also have a light in front of me but I still think the lighting is a little bit weird I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with my um spf i just use this everywhere on my face except for my eye area because you're not supposed to put spf near your eye area follow my ig and my snapchat if you don't already so that you guys can stay tuned with things i post i post a lot um i i'm pretty active on social media i'm trying to be active on youtube again i've gotten a lot of requests and stuff a lot of people asking me to like upload again so i'm trying it's just a little complicated this video should be up within today or tomorrow if not it'll be up the latest will be uploaded by is saturday but hopefully it's gonna be edited by tonight that's my goal but sometimes editing takes a little longer than I expected to because like there's 30 minute clips and I don't know about you but I don't like editing 30 minute clips or like hour long clips I'm just gonna use a little like tatcha thingy to go in there and just oh frick I'm gonna go on to my foundation I'm just gonna squirt this on my fingers and then go ahead and distribute it around my face like I said I've been breaking out a lot so I've been using a little more foundation than usually just because I've been breaking out a lot and there's a lot more to cover up than usually there is so I'm just gonna like pull my hair back today I was supposed to wake up really early and go to the park for a run and basically like film a everyday routine but the thing is I woke up really late I woke up like around 10 and I was like girl there's no way I'm going to the park now because there's gonna be a lot more people than in the morning okay so now that I look like I have peanut butter on my face um I'm so serious I literally look like I have peanut butter on my face I'm gonna go ahead and use my concealer uh, my favorite concealer that I've been using is a Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 300 I have like 10 of these Fenty please sponsor me like Fenty really needs to sponsor me at this point because look 
Fenty is honestly genuinely one of my favorite brands ever since I've tried it out. Other concealers I do use, I've been using the Sh Tarte Shape Tape because I've been running out of my Fenty. A concealer that I bought the other day that I definitely didn't think I'd like this much was the Alme Col Clear Complexion Concealer. I'm gonna just go ahead and like dip around and then put this underneath my eyes. This concealer is so good and so creamy, so good coverage. Like I cannot run out of good things to say about this concealer. Fenty, if you see this video, please put me on your PR list. I'm gonna blend it out. Let me stop before I get copyrighted, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use this concealer and highlight my face. This is like definitely a full face glam. Either I go from this or I do like barely any makeup. I wear like, I'll just use my Fenty concealer. Um, some mascara and I'll like do a little bit of eyebrow gel and that's it But this is more definitely my full face glam whenever I take like cute pictures. This is what I'm wearing So really quickly um, before I start creasing really badly the powder I use is the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Setting Powder. I've used this powder forever. It's Definitely my favorite powder ever. I set my whole face. This powder makes me look so flawless not cakey um, it looks like my face is just face tuned. So now that I look like I have baby powder all over my face, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it with my wet and wild like little brush. Um, I know I look semi crazy right now. I know I look like a white pale ghost. Okay, so now that I literally, I'm sorry, I really do look like a pale ghost. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is in the shade Caramel Toffee. Um, I'm just using this brown color. Well, obviously I'm using the brown color. And I just like to go ahead and just contour my face. Um, I only use this. I so currently I look very um, tan, like I did, don't know how to tan which I kind of don't, but basically I'm gonna go ahead and use a banana powder. I think this is the loose face powder by The Body Shop in the shade 03. I'm gonna go ahead and just like contour my nose. I think that's what it's called, contouring? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not an expert at makeup, guys. Like, please don't come for me. I am simply doing what I think works for me. Okay, so now that I'm like basically done with my makeup, I just need to do blush, highlighter, eyebrows, and eyes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add blush. This is the Too Faced um, Peach My Cheeks Melting Powder Blush in the shade Peach Berry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a stippling brush. This is from Real Techniques. And since it's a, a cream product, I like to use like a stippling brush. If you brush it, it takes away product. Sorry, I have like my knee up because I don't know, it's a habit that I do. Sorry the brushes are in the camera view. But if you stipple product on, also whenever I do, I just go ahead and just like take product off on my hand and then I'm gonna go ahead and like brush it out with a brush and make it look lighter and just more natural so that I don't look like a clown. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add blush. I've been using a new bra, uh, no brush. I've been using a new brush from Brentman, Brentman, Brentman Rock. And this is um, the Wet n Wild, like little, I think it's like a fluffy eyeshadow brush, but I've been using it for my highlighter because I'm into like these type of brushes for highlighter. And I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, I think in Crown something. Um, it's the more golden-y color. I love this highlight. Girl, I love this highlight. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with an even smaller brush and I'm gonna do my nose. Like, oh. So I went ahead and I put a layer of mascara, but I'm still gonna go ahead and add eyelashes. Before I do the eyelashes, I'm using the Too Faced Hangover RX setting spray. I'm gonna go ahead and just set my face with this and then I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Barney Badescu. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face with this. <laughs> I use a lot of it. My lip always gets dry, like, for no reason, uh, around, like, this winter, spring air time, and I'm really bad at picking it, so I pick it, and then it turns out looking like this. I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, go in with an eyebrow. This is an Anastasia Brow Gel, because with the powder and the highlighter and everything, my eyebrows look kind of crusty. So sorry that this is a mess. Sorry, my family is blending things right as I'm filming. I'm about to do my eyelashes and I'm gonna show you guys um, how I do my eyelashes. 
like this. I love the fact that my family knows I'm filming and they're still making so much noise. Okay. So I just went ahead and did the final touches. I went ahead and I added eyelashes. These are the Plumita eyelashes from my eyelash line. I will have a link down below where you guys can purchase them as well as a coupon code that you guys can use for an extra 15% off. I didn't show you guys, but I went ahead and I did my lips. Only thing I used for my lips was a Kylie Jenner uh, lip liner in Dulce K and a lip oil from I think like the beauty supply store so here is my everyday makeup look obviously sometimes I switch up the eyelashes the lips but usually this is like the base makeup and everything else that I do for my makeup the eyelashes usually always depend sometimes I don't even wear eyelashes because um we're in quarantine where am I gonna wear them to but um this is what I do for my makeup every time that I do my makeup and it's very simple honestly it takes me like an hour maybe a little less whenever I'm in a hurry but I really like how it looks so yeah here is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure you guys give it a thumbs up subscribe down below leave me any comments or video requests you guys have for me so that i can film them like i said i am back i'm gonna try to post as much as i can i'm gonna try to be consistent like i said it's a little bit hard for me but i'm trying to get back on my grind hope you guys can be patient with me and thank you to everybody that's been there from the very first video that i uploaded till now it's been a long time and i just want to say that i'm really grateful and really thankful for everyone my dms are always open my snapchat is always open if you guys ever need anything please let me know and without further ado i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys recreate this look please at me so that i can see it so obviously this was more basic it wasn't really like anything special but um you guys have been requesting more makeup looks so i thought i'd bring it for you guys and without further ado i will see you guys in my next video bye loves okay so i already have my eyebrows somebody